I call her lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly, 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 lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly, 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 lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly, 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 lollipop, a lollipop. Way down among Brazilians, coffee beans grow by the billions, so they've got to find those extra cups to fill. They've got an awful lot of coffee. Oh, I go to Starbucks because my friend works there and I usually get free drinks. Starbucks because they have like a very wide variety of coffees and they're all super yummy. Starbucks, for instance, I don't ever find it loud in there, so I, I feel like I can multitask. I like the chain of the Starbucks atmosphere and the coffee, but if I can find a cozy little coffee place, I like to try those too. Starbucks is like the place where you can go and relax and kind of just talk about your day to the barista. It's difficult to say. I enjoy the three major ones, which would be Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, and I love some Javas. You go to Starbucks anywhere, it's like, oh, I'm gonna get a caramel macchiato, because that's what I know I'm obsessed with. I think that we live in a very materialistic culture at times, and so the ability to walk around with a Starbucks coffee cup uh, as opposed to, you know, one that you bring from home, it attaches to, to you a certain level of, I can buy this. I can just throw five dollars, you know, out the window for this venti latte with extra soy and vanilla and cinnamon. I just think that coffee shops, um, they, they offer a certain sense of sophistication for people. And I think when you walk into it, you immediately think that you're maybe, um, a little bit more scholarly sophisticated uh, than, you know, the average person that's not in the coffee shop culture, uh, so to speak. So my favorite cafe is a little place on the corner of university called Starry Nights Cafe. Um, and I just like it because it's, it's decorated to, uh, to a Van Gogh theme. Um, and they have books of Van Gogh and they always have new um, artists coming in and music. And they're just very personal there and the coffee is really good and they make it in like individual little mugs and it's really sweet. I think they serve a, there's a social aspect to, to coffee shops and I think that, you know, it's a place to congregate with friends, it's a place to listen to music, it's a place to, um, you know, study possibly or have business meetings. So I think that, you know, it serves a greater purpose than just, you know, I want to get my favorite cup of joe at this specific coffee shop.